Three years is a long time in the world of Audi. Back in 2015, Audi launched the second generation Q7. But it's become one of their oldest models, and it's for this very reason they've created this, the facelifted version for 2019. But before I tell you what's new, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the little bell icon so you're notified exactly when one of our videos goes live. Here it is then, and it's fair to say the design updates for the big model are suitably big. There's a reworked grille, fresh front and rear bumpers, new running boards and chrome trim for the tailgate, plus a pair of revised exhaust tips. The Q7 now also comes with two-tone paint as standard, which highlights the front splitter, side skirts, wheel arches and rear diffuser in anthracite. LED headlights are included as standard with either matrix LEDs or HD matrix LEDs and Audi laser light offered as additional cost options. It's on the inside though where the biggest changes lie because Audi has ripped out the old Q7's dashboard and put in the Q8 dashboard and that means it's state of the art in the world of Audi. So you've got these two screens here. Uh, no MMI infotainment wheel anymore, it's just these two touch screens and you get the lovely haptic feedback and it works in tandem with the virtual cockpit. And in the UK, just as before, all Q7's will be seven seaters with air suspension. Audi has also expanded the SUV's options list to include a new active roll stabilisation system. It brings a pair of active anti-roll bars controlled by a 48 volt electric motor that automatically adjusts to reflect driving style and road conditions. Three mild hybrid 3 litre V6 engines are available for the new Q7, with buyers given the choice of two diesels and one petrol. There's a 45 TDI diesel with 228 bhp, a 50 TDI with 282 brake horsepower and a 335 brake horsepower 55 TFSI petrol. All three engines are paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox and Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. Generally, the Q7 has a front-to-rear torque split of 40-60, as governed by a self-locking centre differential. However, when required, the Q7 can direct up to 60% of the engine's power to the axle with the most traction. For enthusiastic drivers, the SQ7 returns powered by a 429bhp 4-litre V8 turbo diesel with 900Nm of torque. It boasts a 0-62 mile an hour time of 4.8 seconds and a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. In a few months time there will be a plug-in hybrid 55 TFSI E version, however Audi has yet to confirm any of this model's specs. The updated Q7 SUV will go on sale in the UK from September. There's no word yet on pricing, but we would expect only a modest increase over the cost of the outgoing model, with a starting point of around £55,000. What do you think to it? Leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.